So adoption of AI is um, quite inevitable in the telecommunication space. Um, when we think of AI, there are two broad categories that emerge. One is AI for networks and the other is network networking for AI. In the first category, it's all about managing really large networks, complex networks, um, getting intelligence out of existing telecommunication data. And in the second category, it's all about building the networks that supports AI, uh, connecting sources of data to consumers of data, and also providing compute and space as close to the uh, end users and to the sources of data that can actually run AI models that are trained offline. Uh, luckily for Tejas, we are in the networking space. We have tons of data and we are quite excited about the revolution in AI in telecommunications. We see emergence of many different types of use cases in telecommunications and application of AI. Uh, in particular, there are four broad categories. Um, the first one has to do with anomaly detection, where we look at networking data that's coming in volumes, where every byte of data can be examined to see if there's any anomaly uh, that's happening in the network at that point of time. And AI can detect it and flags it off to a human to take further action to in case some remediation is required. Secondly, it could be about forecasting, where looking at the data coming in, it forecast the trends for things like capacity utilization, resource utilization in the network, uh, congestion for example, uh, which are all extremely important in networking and to be able to provide a high SLA to the user. There's also the use case of being able to predict faults. Um, you know, if, for example, if my AI model can tell me what's going to happen in the next 24 hours, if there's going to be a fault, Finally, there's this concept of using uh, LLM type models to provide a very interactive experience uh, to the customer and help them do with provisioning, with configuration, with designing the network and so on. We are building a significant emphasis on AI in our overall product portfolio. Um, starting with an excellent telemetry solution that collects data from uh, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of network elements and brings it all in a, in a very nice, uh, manageable format to a central location where we can run AI training models for, for, for our customers. Uh, using this data, there are several use cases that Tejas is building, starting with uh, um, the prediction for faults uh, looking ahead at you know the next 24 hours, doing anomaly detection for flagging issues in the network, forecasting for network planning, etc. And all of this comes you know in a s simple, easy to use solution that rides on top of the data. Now the icing on the cake is also uh, an assistant solution that runs on large language models uh, that basically allows the user to use our network management in a very user-friendly way. Now, all of this can be used by customers to do network optimization, for example, in wireless or wireline. And as Tejas, we, uh, we are extremely excited to embrace all of these opportunities ahead of us and build this as an integral part of the, of the Tejas product portfolio.